Eighth grade open up resources, illustrative mathematics. Unit five, lesson 20, the volume of a sphere. Problem number one, match the description of each sphere to its correct volume. Sphere A, radius of four centimeters. We can substitute the R with a four and we can rewrite it as four to the fourth power over three times pi. Since 4 to the 4th power equals 256, we can rewrite it as 256 over 3 times pi. Sphere A matches volume number 2. Sphere B, diameter of 6 centimeters. Okay, since the diameter is 6 centimeters and the radius is half the diameter, we can substitute the R with half a 6 or substitute the R with a 3. 4 divided by 3 times 3 cancels each other out, so we can rewrite this as 3 to the 2nd power, and 3 to the 2nd power is 9. Now it can be rewritten as V equals 4 times pi times 9, which equals 36 times pi. That makes the volume 36 times pi centimeters cubed. Sphere B matches volume 3. Sphere C has a radius of 8 centimeters, so we can substitute the R with an 8. 4 times 8 to the third power equals 2048. Sphere C matches volume 4. Sphere D has a radius of 6 centimeters, so we can substitute the R with a 6. 4 thirds times pi times 6 to the third power equals 288 times pi. Sphere D matches volume 1. Problem number 2. A. A cube's volume is 512 cubic units. What is the length of its edge? To find the volume of a cube, you have to multiply the side length by itself three times. So what number times itself three times equals 512? 8 times 8 times 8 equals 512. So the side length is 8 units. B. If a sphere fits snugly inside this cube, what is its volume? If the side length of this cube is 8, then the radius of the sphere would be 4. We can substitute the R with a 4. 4 times 4 to the third power is 256, so we can rewrite this as 256 over 3 times pi. So the volume of that sphere would be 256 over 3 times pi. Units cubed. C. What fraction of the cube is taken up by the sphere? What percentage is this? Explain or show your reasoning. The volume of the cube is 512. So the volume of the sphere divided by the volume of the cube is the fraction that represents the space taken up by the sphere. The volume of the sphere is 256 over 3 times pi and the volume of the cube is 512. Since we're dividing fractions, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal of 512. 256 divided by three times pi times one over 512 equals pi divided by six or pi over six. And pi divided by six equals 52%. The percentage of the cube taken up by the sphere is 52 percent. Problem number three. Sphere A has radius two centimeters. Sphere B has radius four centimeters. A. Calculate the volume of each sphere. Substitute the R with a two. And for sphere B, substitute the R with a four. Two to the third power is eight. And four to the third power is 64. The volume for sphere A is 32 over 3 times pi centimeters cubed, and the volume for sphere B is 256 over 3 times pi centimeters cubed. B. The radius of sphere B is double that of sphere A. How many times greater is the volume of sphere B? The volume of sphere B divided by the volume of sphere A. Remember, when we're dividing fractions, we're really multiplying by the reciprocal of the second fraction. 
Here we can cross cancel. 3 goes into 3 once. 3 goes into 3 once. 32 goes into 32 once. And 32 goes into 256 8 times. 8 times 1 is 8. Sphere B has a volume that's 8 times greater than sphere A. Problem number 4 from 8th grade unit 5 lesson 16. Three cones have a volume of 192 pi centimeters cubed. Cone A has a radius of 2 centimeters. Cone B has a radius of 3 centimeters. Cone C has a radius of 4 centimeters. Find the height of each cone. We know that the sum of the volume for all three cones is 192 pi centimeters cubed. We can start by substituting the R with the radius of each of the three cones. Cone A has a radius of 2, cone B has a radius of 3, and cone C has a radius of 4. To find the missing height for each cone, we can set it up like this and solve for H. The height for cone A is 144 centimeters, cone B is 64 centimeters, and cone C is 36 centimeters. Problem number 5 from 8th grade unit 5 lesson 5. The graph represents the average price of regular gasoline in the United States in dollars as a function of the number of months after January 2014. A. How many months after January 2014 was the price of gas the greatest? Five months after January 2014, the price of gas was the greatest. B. Did the average price of gas ever get below $2? This horizontal line represents $2, and as you can see, there was one time when gas went below $2, so the answer is yes. During the 24th, 25th, and 26th months after January 2014, the gas price dipped below $2. C. Describe what happened to the average price of gas in 2014. The average price of gas rose from January to May. Then, the average price of gas decreased the rest of the year. Problem number 6 from 8th grade unit 4 lesson 15. While conducting an inventory in their bicycle shop, the owner noticed the number of bicycles is two fewer than 10 times the number of tricycles. They also know there are 410 wheels on all the bicycles and tricycles in the store. Write and solve a system of equations to find the number of bicycles in the store. They told us that the number of bicycles equals two fewer than 10 times the number of tricycles. I'll use B for bicycles and T for tricycles. B equals 10 times T minus 2. This equation represents the number of bicycles being equal to 2 fewer than 10 times the number of tricycles. The information also tells us that there's 410 wheels on all bicycles and tricycles. We can write this equation as 410 equals 2B plus 3T. We can use these two equations in our system of equations to find the number of bicycles in the store. Since B equals 10T minus 2, we can substitute B with 10T minus 2. Now the equation reads 410 equals 2 times 10T minus 2 plus 3T. Using the distributive property, we know that 2 times 10t equals 20t, and 2 times a negative 2 equals negative 4. 410 equals 20t minus 4 plus 3t. 20t plus 3t is 23t. Bring down the minus 4. Now we can add 4 to both sides. 414 equals 23t. Divide both sides by 23, and we have t equals 18. The store has 18 tricycles. Since the store has 18 tricycles, we can substitute the t with an 18. The number of bicycles equals 10 times 18 minus 2. 10 times 18 is 180, and 180 minus 2 is 178. There's 178 bicycles in the store.